I can't tell which part of my foot hurts the most. At this point, my hair is like more dry shampoo than hair. And the sun came out. I am in just like the best mood. I just want to find something to prop you up on. I wasn't planning on filming today. And I am in just like the best mood. We'll do the kitchen. Okay, I am just in the best mood today. I'm like so hyper, I've had way too much coffee. I'm just in such a good mood today. And part of it's caffeine, part of it's just feeling like I have like the world at my fingertips right now. You know when you feel like you're just missing an element of your life? Well, I took this um, course with Ace back in January. Okay, one sec, let me find it. Okay, I took this course back at the start of the year and it was just like an online whatever thing. Okay, it was called Women with a Plan. <laughs> um, and so the first thing that she had us do was we had to rate the different areas of our life. So there was essence slash spirituality, body and wellness, money, environment, professional growth, personal growth, relationships, and lifestyle. And the thing I rated the lowest was my essence spirituality. And that means different things for everyone. So some people it means religion. For me, it's not. It's more um, feeling connected to my body, which comes through things like music is a really big one for me. Um, or exercise is the other one for me that's really big. And that was the thing I rated a five out of 10. And then I rated body wellness a six out of 10. And then things like professional growth and all that. I was rating like eights and nines because I was making good strides professionally. And so having those kind of areas rank so low, I tried for months to find ways to kind of like bring them back to the focus. Anyway, and that's what I feel like I've been doing this week. That's my little bit of ramble. Um, and I hope you can feel kind of the excitement. I hope it makes you feel excited about pursuing something that you really want to. Uh, anyway, in terms of pursuing things, I'm pursuing a return today. So that leaf sweater, I've decided, I think I want two sizes up because I want it like really, really big. So I'm gonna go ship that out. I might take a few shots on my little walk over to, I'm gonna go to Bridgeland to return it because it's so cute over there. They've got a Canada Post. And then I'm gonna come back, clean up, and that might be it for me for today, uh, but I'm definitely checking in tomorrow, and then this weekend I wanna take you camping, so. Lots to come, and let's go. I'm trying to break in these docks. Has anyone done this? How much does it hurt? Here's the update. I can't tell which part of my foot hurts the most. Is it my toe bone sticking into the hard front? Is it the razor blades on my ankles? Why do people wear these? Do they really get better? Like, I've adopted like a really ridiculous walk. It is so painful. Oh my God. I don't know how anyone wears these. Anyway, the package has been shipped back. I decided to go two sizes up because I figured like I really want big, oversized, comfy vibes so I can wear something under it as well. Um, so we'll just see. It cost me like another 20 bucks. This sweater, I'm in way too deep for a sweater that's just like, okay. <laughs> okay I'm gonna go home and like change my shoes to any other shoes. Uh, yeah. Okay, fair warning, this is gross. It was so <laughs> not worth it. I was reading online that you're supposed to like wear thick socks, put a band-aid on, only wear them for an hour the first time. Uh, I did none of those things. I just went on like a whole hike. <laughs> just hope for the best. Um, and now I think I'm going to be suffering for a few days. Okay, we're on our way out to camp for the weekend. Do you want to meet Ben? Hi everyone, how are you? 
Hello again, we're over at Cabela's, but it's grabbing some cameras because we like to see what kind of like animals are around. I'm gonna show you a little bit out there and I think I'll do a little bit more of kind of a chatty catch up when I'm out there and I can go for a little bit of a walk. Yeah, but it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. I think this is gonna be one of the last weekends where we're going up to like 25 plus degrees. So it's been such a nice, nice summer and fall here in Calgary so far. Um, and it's been great. So I will catch you in a little bit once we're there. Okay, so this is our little spot. It is so nice and fall and cute out. We've got to set up a little bit and like get everything cleaned up from the last time we were out and then I'll show you a little bit more. It's really beautiful out right now. Okay, hi. I wanted to go for a little bit of a walk. I can't look at you too much or I might fall over. And just give a little bit of like a insight into me and this channel and what's going on. So I'm Morgan. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here on this kind of little journey with me. I'm originally from Victoria, BC, and then I moved um, from Victoria out to Kelowna in high school and then to Vancouver for university and then back to Penticton and Kelowna right after university. And I've now been out in Calgary for three years. Um, so this is my... Yeah, my third year just started as of like May. Um, so you're pretty, you're pretty kind of in, or so this is kind of an interesting time to start this. I was working in marketing in BC uh, for like an HR and safety company, which was pretty cool. And I got to grow from an associate level all the way up to a manager um, within a couple years. I got to manage teams, stuff like that. It was really fun. And then when I moved to Calgary, I was working remote and I really wanted to um, feel like I was more part of the city. So about a year into being here, I got a job as podcast host and I worked for um, a finance company doing that for a little bit. Hopefully the crunchy leaves aren't too annoying as I walk around here. Um, then I met um, a lovely lady doing the podcast and ended up going and working for her company for a little bit and that was really cool too and um, not necessarily what I wanted to do right now like I feel like right now I just want something a little more chill but it was really cool lots of responsibility I got to work with clients um, and do both kind of marketing PR communications and all of that but I did miss the podcasting side I missed having like a little more of that kind of creative side. So right now I'm kind of in a bit of a weird spot where I'm figuring out what's gonna be next um, and where I wanna go. So I've seen some cool things online. Um, I've got some other ideas. Uh, I'm planning on taking my realtor course cause I just love working with people and talking to people and all of that. But I know that's gonna take a while and be kind of a ways off till that's kind of a doable job. And I still love marketing, so I want to do something still in that space. So anyway, that's where we're at now. I met Ben about two years ago. Um, we got this little trailer out here uh, last summer. So this is our second summer coming out here. And it's just so, so beautiful and so nice and relaxing to do on the weekends. And I've never seen it like so, this isn't the best spot, but like so pretty and fall-like. Yeah. So anyway, that's where we're at, and I've always wanted to vlog, so I'm excited to be doing it. Uh, I love to talk, if <laughs> you can't tell. And yeah, I just think this is such a, an interesting time to kind of join in on my Calgary life, as I'm still kind of sorting out my way here and um, what I want life to look like here. So that's kind of me, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them. I'd love to, to answer anything. I'm a pretty open book. Uh, and that's kind of that. Let's go back to the camp now and get a fire started. Gonna have like a couple drinks, make some food, and that's usually the vibe out here. Just kind of hang out. I usually read. I download Libby on my phone so I'm able to just get ebooks. Um, might play cards. I brought my Nintendo Switch, might play that. And that's kind of it.
So neat. Show us your hand, Benny boy. Mushrooms. And over here, the car, the golf cart. This is where wood is split. Wow. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it seems nice. And here. The fire. It just died, but we're going to work on bringing it back to life here. Why don't you show us the outhouse? <laughs> just back in the trailer right now getting ready to head out to a nearby town to grab a beer and we already got up and made BLTs this morning which was really good. What did you think Ben? Yummy! <laughs> so we're gonna head out there and then come back and have a fire and everything again. Last night was really fun there was lots of stars out we just listened to music and hang out and had a fire so um, I think that's pretty much it for today. It's a really pretty fall day again but it's a little colder so not quite the summer weekend we were expecting. Ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> We just got back and the sun came out and it's so, so nice. We stopped to, we went to a little town nearby, got some pastas, got a bellini, and now I'm ready for another camp night. So I think we're gonna get fire going soon. Walk around, we've got a little badminton net, so that might be fun. Um, and just enjoy the beautiful sun and the beautiful leaves. Oh, so gorgeous. Things have gotten weird, friends. <laughs> what you doing? Good time. <laughs> We're starting to lose light, so I think I'm going to sign off for today, and I'll check in again tomorrow. We're going to go sit around the fire, make some food, um, and hang out. So, see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is day three. I'm just uh, getting some stuff ready here so we can make breakfast. It's been a lot of fun. Last night was a bit of like a late night of watching the stars, listening to music. It's really nice and it's just been so like quiet. It's gorgeous. Anyway, we're gonna make some food, get some coffee. At this point my hair is like more dry shampoo than hair. Uh, so I'm looking forward to going home later and getting a shower in. Super quick tour. It's a little messy, but we're just finishing up. So we've got our little bedroom up here. And then we've got a little sitting area over here where we've got my friend, Mr. Slithers, growing. Bones outside just packing up. And there's a little kitchen, but it's, <laughs> that's where we kind of keep all our garbage right now. Not garbage, just like random stuff. And then this view. We are driving home. Thanks so much for joining for camping this weekend. It was a lot of fun. And I'm probably going to start a new vlog tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Bye.